Hey guys, Fazman here. In this video, I am going to review eDrawMind. eDrawMind is a mind mapping software that provides you with tools to shape your thoughts into visual graphs. Because it's not so easy to do it with a pen and paper while you are brainstorming an idea because you will make a lot of changes within the process. The solution is to use a mind map software that can help you to create and edit them on the fly or highlight the most important ideas. That's why in this review we are talking about to share eDrawMind, a solution that comes with all the tools to create a good design with a minimum effort. This is cross-platform software which means it is compatible with all operating systems. The tool runs smoothly on Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Linux and web version. After opening Mindmaster, you will find yourself on the template page where you can pick up your favorite mind map templates. If you click on mind map gallery, you will find collection of templates and resource material to get you started. The app provides different types of diagram, styles and nearly 100 pages of presets including academic charts, strategy plots, life maps, and even picture timelines. The platform also allows you to use tons of readily editable templates that are professionally designed and shared by users in eDrawMind's community library. These templates can help you present ideas pertaining to work, event, education, and life visually comprehensively. Once you find a template that you want to create, Double click the template thumbnail, then you will be redirected to the workspace where you can edit and change the template as you like. On the right hand side, you have different options in vertical and horizontal. To add the main topic, select the center rectangular and press the enter button. To add the subtopic, you need to select the main topic and press the control plus enter. You can change the color of the main topic. You can add the border of the shapes, you can change the fonts. So for example, if you want to change the design of your mind map, you can go to the first option in the layout and then choose the design you want. You can also change the theme and color scheme. If you click on the third option, you can add some icons like priorities, progress, you can add different symbols. If you click on clip art, there are many categories. You can go to any category and drag and drop the icon into your main design. You can also create the relationship between each task. eDrawMind extends a separate space to help you organize your thoughts before you dive into map design, brainstorming. The panel shares a simple typing area and a blank page to store your ideas. Once you are done, you can drag the points over to the main canvas and begin constructing your map. Any phrase you transport to the whiteboard will automatically transform into floating boxes. 
since mind mapping generally start with brainstorming having a blank canvas to play with the ideas is a bonus feature it will allow you to combine whatever comes to your mind without worrying over space or whether they should go on your map it's also designed to give a quality presentation of everything you have worked on so far to teammates presentation mode no need to export your mind map and insert it into powerpoint but if you would like to create presentation slides automatically you can go to slide show tab and click auto create button see thumbnail of the auto created slides on preview slide show it is like powerpoint and on the web based version you can select the online collaboration option to set up user permissions create a link and share it with your team member your team can later use this link to log in and access your mind map project you can work simultaneously on a project with your team member in real time on a mind map you have the option of adding comments notes or receiving feedback from your team member while your project is being executed so i think e draw mind is a cut above the rest when it comes to mind map software it is easy to use fully packed with features facilities and online collaboration tool so i hope that you find this video helpful and must give it a try also share your experience and thoughts in a comment section below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one